Bay, Hawke's Bay. This is such a thriving region. It's full of hardworking farmers, growers and foresters. Hey, Dom. Hey, Megan. Here at the port, we're working really hard to connect the bay with the world. Let's show you how we do it. All right, let's go. So, Dom, this is pretty official. Yeah, you're right. This is a customs controlled area. We're super careful about who and what we let through these gates. Hey, guys, do you have ID on you? Oh, I mean, I've got my coffee card, library card. You can use mine. You're handling a lot of stuff every day, right? Yeah, starting with Gay, we're moving a lot of import and export containers. Hi, guys. I load and unload containers to our ships. She's precious cargo. What do I do? I do all the heavy lifting around here. Looks like the ship's loaded with a lot of cargo, all right. Our customers' produce has a long journey to its final destination, but we have a well-oiled team that's making it happen. Like Jane. Perfect. Hi, Russ. So you're the uh, captain of this operation, right? No, I'm not quite the captain. I'm the pilot. So I will go out board the ship outside and uh, reinforce the bridge team, and we'll uh, bring her inside the harbour and put her safely alongside. Our ships are in safe hands with our pilots. Speaking of safe hands, we're with Mark now from the mooring team. Mark, tell us about these short tension units. Yeah, sure. Our short tension units help hold ships fast for efficient loading. Uh, and these ones right here, they're automated and make mooring safer and faster. So you want to see some more stuff? Yeah. Check out this cool gear. Yeah, this is our Dubaka. Logs go in this end, through the Dubaka, and out the far end. Just like a giant pencil sharpener. Exactly. The Dubaka prepares our logs for our overseas market. It's environmentally safe and a new service that we're offering at Napier Port. We also send the bark down the road for composting. So I've probably got some on my garden. 100%. So, Debbie, what's in these giant fridges? Well, they're actually called reefers, and inside them we have meat, squash, onions, wine, and apples. And it's really, very critical that they stay at the set point tent when they leave here. Otherwise, the product will be spoiled when it gets to the other side. So where does all this great Hawke's Bay product go to? Our major destinations are through to Asia, Americas, and through to Europe. You have so many people here who are experts in their field. Yeah, sharing Hawke's Bay experts with the world takes a great team, like these guys. Marine team. Marine team. Marine team. <laughs> That's the one right there. Forklift operator. And I'm an electrician. Let's go. <laughs> Communications. I'm an operations supervisor. And I'm a crane tech. Team environment. <laughs> and loads more. So where are we now, Dom? We're in the operations hub. Heaps of planning goes on here, so everything runs smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> We're in an open plan office here, working as one port team. Leading from the top is our CE. Things are really happening here in the Bay. Hey, Todd. Hey, how's it going? Yep, we are a hard-working, friendly team, and uh, what we do around here is world-class, uh, just like our primary sector exporters. Well, thanks for showing us around, Dom. It's been a great day. Pleasure. Our door is always open. As long as I've got my ID right. <laughs> oh, and the hat, the hat, the hat. Oh.